great win, man. Great win. That's what a play. When you look at that game, you'll see all the way around. I mean, we had just excellent, excellent play. Obviously, our special teams did a great job. Got a blocked field goal. Who blocked that field goal? AR? Yeah. AR got that field goal blocked. You see, you know, it was play. One of the two. All right. Guys, nice job on that block. Did a nice job defensively. Held them down in terms of their third down conversion to 22%, 2 of 9. Heck of a job just in terms of that fourth down stop was big as well, guys. And a nice job coming up. Was that GQ? Nice job. And uh, obviously, just overall held them under 100 yards rushing as well. That's a team that can run the ball. Uh, and the guys did a nice job there. So great job defense all the way around. A lot of nice play. Slay, I saw you out there. Nice job. <laughs> Offensively, right? Had two guys over 100 yards receiving. Oh, yeah. 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 Marv, a few more touchdowns for this team than last week. What was working for the offense uh, today? Yeah, definitely. You know, obviously that was a point of emphasis uh, going into the um, going into this game uh, all week. Uh, we're, you know, historically a great red zone team, and uh, we took some last lapses uh, last week, um, and we got back on board. So it, it was great to have uh, what we do, did what we did out there. And we saw that uh, Rock'em Sock'em Robots celebration there. Who came up with that idea? Oh, yeah, that was Yeah, he that did was, his thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey. My dog came out here and ball. <laughs> celebration of the year right there. No, we're talking about the... Um, who, we're who, talking about who the celebration. Who made it? Who made oh, it, up? it was him. Come on, man. It, you know who made it? It, it was Ebron. So, so Ebron, Ebron signed up to get beat up on that one. Yeah, most definitely. He, so whoever scored got, got to do the, the beating up. So um, I'm glad it was me. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. Well, congrats. Um, I think we executed what we you know well tonight. Um, you know we weren't perfect, left some points out there, um, turned it over, but uh, you know our guys showed up and played really well. Our offensive line did a great job blocking. Um, you know our guys on the outside were winning and, and making plays. Can you just speak to how efficient you guys can be? How explosive you can be with the weapons that you have, and you have as much time as you had tonight. So you're pretty comfortable with that pocket. Yeah, no question. Um, you know those guys outside were doing a great job of winning. And I was just trying to get it to the open guy. And all sorts of guys were winning. And, uh, you know, when we can spread people out and, and use a bunch of weapons like we did tonight, we're, uh, you know, we're at our best. Look, we talked about how important you get to the Yeah, um, you know, every game is huge. Um, you know, especially a division game on the road in a tough place to play like Lambeau. Um, it was a game we were, uh, you know, excited about a Monday nighter. Um, you know, I'm just glad we came out and performed. It was a total team win. Our defense played great. Our special teams was great as well. So, uh, you know, we keep putting performances like that. Um, you know, together we'll, we'll give ourselves a, a good chance to win. How much confidence do you have in Mark? You see those one-on-one situations. You see the number of times you were there today. You haven't talked to him. Yeah, no question. He played great. Um, you know, Marv's a really talented guy. He's got great body control. Um, he's made some really tough contested catches like he did tonight. Um, you know, all the guys played well, I thought. You know, I didn't think uh, anybody was, was off their game, so it was nice. From before the bond, <coughs> do you feel better physically, fresher, different than both? re energize in many ways? Or? Yeah, I feel a whole lot better physically. Um, you know, that week was huge for me, not only me, but a lot of people. And, uh, you know, a lot of guys on our team have come out the other side of it feeling a lot better. And, and um, you know, we just got to continue to uh, to get better. Like I said, we weren't perfect. We left some points out there, um, got down in the red zone, stalled out a couple times again. But, uh, um, you know, it was uh, an efficient night. Yeah, we just, we just got to run, uh, run our division, man, and, uh, and just keep fighting. Because, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a tough game, man. Uh, so uh, we're just trying to go out here and win the ball game. How much did it help that your offense was able to move the ball as much as it did? No punts for San Martin tonight. It seemed like their defense was on the field for almost the entire game. Oh, it's good. That's what we, that's what it's for. Uh, we did a good job of getting the offense the ball to uh, to take all that time out of the uh, clock. So they did a good thing of managing the ball. And um, they, we did a good job of getting them off the field. So uh, it's a good team effort right there. And uh, we got to just continue to keep doing that. We, you know, we still ain't put our full game together. And um, and with that showing, though, we got still a lot left in the tank. And um, we got to keep improving. Darius, it's been a while since this team hasn't had to prepare for Aaron Rodgers. You go to Brett Hundley, haven't seen much on him, right? I mean, right. what are the challenges when you haven't seen a lot of tape on a guy like Brett? Uh, it, it was just, we just knew that um, that he wouldn't be able to do the stuff that Aaron does at the line of scrimmage. So uh, we, what I think was, you just go make it tough for him. And uh, he's a talented guy. You know, he's an NFL quarterback, that's sure. But uh, we just knew it would be tough for him to make all them checks like that, like uh, 12 does. So, uh, but um, he, you know, like I said, all I say is him to just keep working, you know, 
and um, keep playing ball. Let's go, baby. What do you say, baby? Let's dominate that middle tonight, huh? Let's get after him tonight, baby. Woo! I'm good, baby. Let's go get it. Oh, yeah. Let's get after him. Go You live for this. Not today, baby. But at night, we here. Let's go, boys. Let's go, Z. Hey, division game, Monday Night Football. This one can count for two now. Let's go, hey. Let them know early. It's going to be a long night for them. Let's jump on them quick. Play 60 minutes. Play together. One heartbeat. Let's go now. Let's go. Lines on three. One, two, three. Nice. Hey, let's dominate that middle night, huh? Let's dominate that middle night, baby. Yard try. The putter, Justin Vogel, is the holder, and the kick is deflected, and no good. Receivers in the league to do that. Out of the pistol, and they swing it out to Golden Tate. Best in the league at run after the catch over the last four years as well. On second and six from the Packer 41, lots of room as Abdullah bounced outside to the left. He has a first down. General Manager Bob Quinn invested a lot of money and resources in the offensive line. And Rick Wagner at right tackle, T.J. Lang at right guard. High price free agents have to pick it up. Lang, the right guard, eight years as a Green Bay Packer. Second and five, Stafford going to the end zone, and it is caught for a touchdown by Marvin Jones. That's the first OP. Second on that list. Five-man rush, no pressure on Stafford. Lots of time, and he has his man for a first down across the 14 and a half sacks. In 2015, he's been injured much of the time since then. Hundley with time, finally throws one downfield, and it's incomplete. Intended for Devontae Adams and broken up by D.J. Hayden, placed by a fellow B.C. Eagle in Cleary. They've had a great tradition of producing offensive linemen at B.C. And a catch out of bounds. No, Golden Tate ruled inbounds. Pardon me, on the far sideline. Down, they can get a first down near the two. Packers crowd the line outside, running room for Abdullah. That was way too easy. Touchdown, Detroit. That's a great field on the right hip of Matthew Stafford. Right. Wide open, crossing the middle. Golden Tate, first down. There's have a veteran center, Don Yulebach, in his 14th year with the perfect snap. And the kick right down the middle front. Stafford, they brought extra rushers, got nowhere near him, and it's enough. Giving this young quarterback a lot of looks, and he. Had a tough go of it again tonight. That one just a jump ball for Jordy Nelson. Slay again in coverage. First and 10, Detroit. Lions from their own 36, leading 17 to 3. Nice throw by Stafford and a catch in the crowd by Marvin Jones for a first down to the 48. Stafford, another beautiful throw. Eric Ebron makes the catch. Here they come. And they get nowhere near Stafford again. Doesn't matter how many they are rushing. They can't get Raiders one for two tonight. And that one's good from 19. With consistency. Again. Here's a blitz and a screen. Great call against the screen. Theo Riddick. Theo Riddick inside the 20 and finally taken down inside the 15-yard line by Devon House. Bluffs the blitz. And crosses the formation, Blake Martinez, fooled by Riddick. What a call. 63-yard game. Stafford 
to the end zone and caught by Marvin Jones. Touchdown, Detroit. That's quite a throw and catch. And takes off. They're going to fake the quick screen, the Golden Tate, and throw a fly to Marvin Jones for his second touchdown tonight. And Matt Stafford, offense it's a bit too often. Desperation time for the Packers now, and that fourth down pass is incomplete. Broken up by D.J. Hayden. Stafford running the play clock all the way down. Had that bunch of receivers to the left, and emerging from that pile, Marvin Jones. He skips down to the 26-yard line. To the Steelers, and they responded. Credit to the Lions. Oh, boy. Green Bay blitz over the middle. Caught Golden Tate. Taken down inside the five-yard line by Devon.